the need to give back to his society informed the decision of Gabriel Dussel to set up Gabros Humanitarian Foundation, which is aimed at putting smiles on the faces of the people, especially the less privileged in the society. As part of ways of touching lives and promoting learning in schools, Gabros Foundation, led by the founder Gabriel Dussel, visited four selected schools in Ikbobaoha, Oedo, and Ego in Edo South Senatorial Districts and presented notebooks, shoes, uniforms, and bags to the pupils. One of the beneficiaries, Omeige Esther, from Covenant Christian Academy Aduawa, who was also awarded scholarship until she completes her secondary education, expressed gratitude to the foundation. I thank God for this privilege of having this scholarship today. May God bless the people in charge, in Jesus' name. The founder, Gabros Foundation, Gabriel Duseri, and members of his team promise to touch more lives. What we are out for is to ensure that our children are well dressed and at the same time with all the requirements they need to study in school. From the little you have, impact lives around you. And I'm telling you, this world will be a better place. By the last time he went to the hospital, for some people, especially this hospital, maternity, where they could not discharge themselves. I think we discharged 25 people that day. All of us should be praying for him because he has done a lot. I pray God should give him long life and wisdom. So he should be doing more. This foundation has really given back to the society. I want to say it's a great impartation for what... Uh, I want to thank Gabriel Duseri. This is not his first time and uh, he has been putting a smile on people's face. People from Uwa Primary School, Ute, Community <laughs> Primary School, and Uwa Primary School along Fessy Secular Road, Benin City, also benefited from the free notebooks school bags and shoes. Some children with special needs from our primary school, first is Secular Road. We also presented bags and a cash gift of 100,000 Naira. Jonah Omowa, ITV News.